what's not clear to, I think, the community is even if we met all of our goals in tough negotiations of bankruptcy, we're still going to have an $11 million deficit uh, for quite a, a long time. And so any bankruptcy exit plan will have a hole in it and it will require some kind of additional resource or come up with cuts of another $11 million. Another need that we want to achieve with Measure H is to gradually uh, address those issues and put our city back on better footing for the next recession. And, you know, it's going to happen eventually. Um, we need to have a viable plan to get out of bankruptcy in the eyes of a judge. They need to be convinced that we're going to concern. Um, so the tax is important to that. And then finally, the one service increase um, that we think the community needs is this, this uh, Marshall Plan on Crime. And so those are the, the needs that we are trying to address with uh, Measure A. It's going to require some good uh, management some thoughtful policy making um, so that we, if it was passed and we're restoring services that we conservatively and consciously gradually restore the footing of the city and uh, uh, not get back to the, the bad practices of the past. So there has to be some discretion allowed, I think, on the part of the city council and the city manager that follows me and that's the concept behind the, the discretionary or the general tax rather than a, a restricted tax. Four years from now, uh, who knows what will be thrown at us. There's got to be some discretion. And it's important to remember that there's two different measures. Um, what A and B do together is um, it's about making Stockton safer, about restoring our services, about getting out of bankruptcy, and holding future councils accountable. And I think that's a really important distinction because Measure B is really the teeth behind Measure A and will help drive those policies that Bob talked about in terms of how will this really be implemented, how will, um, how will the priorities really be carried forward. Measure B is about accountability and transparency. It's going to drive policies that will be adopted publicly by the council that will hold future councils accountable to the priorities. It's why the council signed Measure B on the ballot. It's our personal commitment to the people who live here. We put our name on Measure B. It's our commitment that we are going to do what we say and we're going to continue doing it. So. Um, for me, I think uh, Measure B is, uh, Measure A is, is how, is, is what we need. It's the mechanism for generating the revenue. But Measure B is really about the policies that will come from, from it and how we will implement it. And Measure B is our promise as elected officials to the public. The old Stockton. Um, we didn't deserve this tax increase. That the old Stockton, with lack of accountability, lack of transparency, and lack of oversight, didn't deserve $28 million on the Crumley Foundation. But I think the reforms they mentioned from reforming um, benefits and compensation packages show that we're on the right path. And I think if we also look at the Marshall Plan on Crime and how even with the 50% reduction in violence, there's still a 4% increase in property crime. So we're doing something right. We're on the right path, but without Measure A and B, our mission to really <coughs> reinvent or recreate how we do business in the city will be incomplete. I already told you we, we need some discretion in order to heal the city and get on solid financial footing. But really, this tax is, uh, in many respects, already restricted because this council, this new council, uh, supports and adopted the Marshall Plan on Crime. So you have the ultimate benchmark that is gonna consume, after ramp up, 70% of that tax. So the questions going forward to every council going forward will be, 
how are we doing with respect to that? How are we doing with respect to that? And somebody's going to have to answer for that. So we're building up momentum. If the tax goes down, we're going to lose that momentum. And then the creditors and the judges are going to have to come back and say, where are you going to come up with that 11 million bucks? And that's when it's going to be brutal. Stockton will always have a challenge of reaching consensus uh, to the point where two-thirds of the community are going to agree on one thing. That's a really high bar. Um, there's there's uh, diversity cuts a lot of different ways, um, and there's a lot of strengths to it. But getting consensus, because the state, uh, you know, constitution says you got to get two thirds consensus. That's a really hard high bar in this particular community. There's a lot of other services that have been drastically reduced here in this city. A lot of other really powerful needs that add to our our crime problem and those won't be addressed can't be addressed through um, that sort of a restricted tax and while it makes people feel good in the short term to say we're gonna bring on another hundred officers and we're gonna arrest those rascals and we're gonna throw them in jail and that'll solve solve our problem it won't it never has and it's not going to in the future and this tax will provide funding for things that we feel very passionate about. Restoring library services, mentoring programs, youth outreach, restoring our after-school programs, having a strong and robust safety net in this community. Those things are not just about quality of life like, oh, it's nice, it gets us on a best of list. They do support our safety in this community. Those are the things that really break the cycle of crime. We've never invested in those things to a meaningful degree, and we've even when we have, we haven't sustained it. There's always been this push, this knee-jerk reaction. We just need some more cops, and we need to arrest these people, and let's build another extension to the jail, and let's just build more prisons. It isn't working. Our state already incarcerates more than any other state. It isn't working and to keep banging our heads against the wall, I can't see the sense in it.